Dave Ping 243. Hello guys, this is me, Dave Pink243, and welcome back to some more Creature from the Krusty Krab. Last time, we avoided Giant Plankton after playing as him for a little bit more. And now we will continue to avoid Giant Plankton as Spongebob and hopefully find a way to, to fight back against him. So let's get on to it by first saving the game. The plankton situation is escalating Chaos. Confusion. And the sheer unimaginable horror of the extended coffee break. Cappuccino. And this bit is in 60 FPS. So what we're trying to do here, the game doesn't really tell you, but we're supposed to shoot these down and, well, uh, and basically drop down on to Plankton. So we do that two times and this tiny section ends. So, yeah, we just kind of loop around the section until we, until we take down both, take down both of these things. Yeah, I'm serious. That, that section was really fucking short. So I guess I could serve as like a bit of a warm-up to, uh, to the rest of this here. Since ending off last episode. SpongeBob can lead the beast out of the city. Will he be able to escape the rampaging plankton? Um probably not. It didn't work last time. I couldn't even read that. But yeah, uh Oh boy. Um, the, the defense force has already been destroyed, lady. Oh god, oh god! Okay, good. Uh, yeah, you might want to do so, old man Jenkins. Uh, ow! I'm actually kind of considering it, old man Jenkins. This section's a bit, a bit tricky. Ow! Ow! I refuse to lose. Look out, Bikini Bottom! Look out, Something different about the landing. I can't put my thing on. I don't know, is it? Is it that the fact that he's huge now? I wish I could get to now. Oh boy. Oh, 
And yeah, I did miss that sleepy seed. Ah. Okay, but anyway, we're done with that section, so what do you have for us next? Drama. Excitement. Annoying ass commentary. Oh god, we're going in this kind of thing again. Okay. We can't see in front of us. I never realized Plankton had such a big eye. Curse your square pants. We're gonna get smushed. Do you know what I've been through to catch that patty? SpongeBob does it, but we do. Ow! Oh god, oh god! Okay, okay. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, please give me a checkpoint balloon. Yeah, that was close. Ah, uh. Okay, got that. Okay, good checkpoint. Ow! Awesome, we got through it. I don't know why Plankton just laser beamed that particular truck, I guess. I guess he didn't like it? I don't know. That was... That was somewhat pointless. This is it. In a pitched battle here in Bikini Bottom. Will our heroes For valor, honor, or will they just annoy him a bit? And crappy uh, patties. Okay, this is the final section for SpongeBob. Uh, at least at this part of the game. All right, what we're what we need to do here is that we need. We need to... We need to hit these, uh... Bolts... To where they will... Fall off... After becoming loosened... Enough. Oh god! I was paying attention! Uh, we'll see about that! Oh god, oh god, oh god! Out of fuel! Five, four, three... Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, we got one of them. Okay. Blankton kind of wobbles around a bit. Okay. Hit the fuel balloons. We haven't gotten them yet, but we're getting close, SpongeBob. Oh, 
Okay, now now we're full on fuel. All right, fire the crap out of this last one. There we go. And Plankton, you are done. Or is he? Ouch! My flagella. Are you okay, Plankton? I think I've suffered mild abrasions. And maybe some light grazing. I don't know why the emulator's like this, but... Giant microscopic organism. Let me give you a hand. Oh, oh no! Allow me! Oh, uh, yeah, apparently SpongeBob's in trouble. Um, who will come to save him? Well, it should be pretty obvious. Oh, uh, yeah, let's save the game, and... Yep, S Patrick Starfish Man versus Giant Plankton. So, this could be the final rumble. Uh, uh, how can I sleep at a time like this? Well, it must be a panic reflex, I guess. Yep, panic. Yep, panic. Panic? Panic! I'm panicking! I'm panicking! Panic bun! Well, good thing you found that bun in time. And I just got SpongeBob! Oh no! Oh, 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 what am I gonna do? Think, think, think! No thoughts today. Mermaid Man! What's all the noise? I'm trying to. Too bad it's not, uh. Too bad it's not Ernest at his voicing, uh. Mermaid Man in this game. But hey, at least we got Mermaid Man here. In, in the form of his character, so. That's fine. But yeah, we got a whole bunch of plankton to deal with. Oh boy, it's gonna be hard to see. Alright, and yeah, we have all the same abilities as we did when we, uh, were in the comic book version of Bikini Bottom. But, uh, yeah, now Spongebob, Plank- Spongebob, Patrick, and Plankton are all in one, uh, are all in, like, one dreamscape. What the hell is happening, you may ask? Well, uh... The game doesn't really explain it too much. Just, just accept the fact that their dreams have basically merged together. And so now, basically, Spongebob and Patrick are in Plankton's dream, essentially. If you were to go by technicalities. I don't know. This is kind of the core of what makes Creature from the Krusty Krab uh, weird. Alright. Oh boy. And yeah, Plankton will throw down boats after you've uh, attacked all the plankton. Attacked and defeated all the, all the plankton minions. For, for a single wave, so... And then more will come out. So yeah, watch out for that gas coming out of the... Out of the, out of the ground. But other than that, this is basically a rumble. Oh boy. Ah! Oh, try it. I dare you. What goes up must come down. So yeah, you kind of just want to keep moving. That's my best recommendation for dodging these boats. But yeah, looks like you fucked up, Plankton.
Well, guess what? That's why I also had to deal with Plankton, so now you're getting a taste of your own medicine. Ha-ha! Alrighty. This roof -to -roof is heating up. The starfish is and now we're fine. Now we're going to fight against uh, Plankton a little bit more directly here. That was bullshit. Oh boy. All right, we need to do the. We need to do the, the ground slam attack. Oh boy, I can't see. And after you do so, you want to quickly go over here. Oh, I guess after, yeah. After you go ahead and, okay. There we go! And basically, re we reflect his eye beam back at him. There's also going to be some plankton within the outside portion of this. Uh, but yeah, over here, now a pink sleepy seed appears. You want to collect that, in case if you're going for 100%. And, ow. I should have probably, uh, should have probably smacked one of Plankton's hands first, but now I'm waiting for this thing to go back down so I can press the button again and have enough time for it to stay around for when Plankton fires his eye beam. There we go! Just in the nick of time! Ow! Oh, that's what you think. Okay, now there's like two of those plankton shooting, uh... Shooting lasers, but... Either way... We're getting Plankton nice and good one more time, and he's done. Ah! Bullshit! Okay. You forced me to use the Star Spin. Slam on this. And fuck you, Plankton. Perhaps it's time for me to execute a new strategy. Plan B. Two. So apparently Plankton's going to go with this Plan B2 thingy. And what does that entail? Well, we're about to find out. Maybe. Alright. Ow! 
I uh, sure wonder where you see, Mermaid Man. So, yeah, that's what we have to do. Uh, and bits of the remaining somehow uh, be became a defense force is going to help us. Alright, just avoid these plankton and get up here. And now we have two helicopters uh, after plankton. Oh, you better believe that it is. Can't see too much shit in the way. Come on, I know it's possible to get that sleepy seat by just jumping up on here. That's kind of why, like, I just don't recommend you going after the sleeping seats. It's just such a pain in the ass to try to get. But yeah, now we're going to get four helicopters on Plankton's ass. And they'll keep them busy. I need a herring. Ben out, den out. Hello, and welcome to tonight's live edition of World's Greatest Rooftop Encounter. Tonight on the show, when Plankton go big. All right, now we're going to fight against Plankton more directly once more. They kind of alternate between, between like, annoying Plankton and just, like, directly fighting him. Oh boy. No fair, Plankton, you didn't say anything that, that would cue the, the thing. Okay, so you're supposed to do that, and the glass... The glass concealing the buttons will, uh, break. Alright, let's avoid these plankton so I can just ground slam on the button. Come on, fucking- Okay. Okay, this one's caught up, uh, caught up against the thing, so... Alright, 
right. And let's slam down this fourth button. And fuck you, Plankton. Oh, we'll see about that. Oh boy! Uh, this is getting kind of chaotic. Kind of like a Mario Party game. Uh. Oh god. Hell, game. Alright, and that's going to activate the other crane. So which probably just just go ahead and proceed to get ready to drop this thing on plankton there's a sleepy seat but pain he has to, to get to that one so so fuck that fuck I hate the holes up here in the middle of the thing Alright, and finally, the spun. Now there was something I was supposed to be doing. Oh yes, I remember. And we're still keeping true to that uh costume currently. Because that's the best costume in my opinion of a Patrick Starfish fan. Alright, this is the final, uh, this is the final confrontation. This is basically kind of like the final boss fight of the game, so, yeah, uh, at least this is, this is as close to a boss fight as it gets. Alright, yeah. Getting on to that. Just not giving a fuck about these other plankton. And avoid the boats as well! Fuck! Alright. Oh, sure, right. Alright. Alright. Got you again, Plankton. The reason why I see to avoid the other plankton rather than just fighting them outright is because they'll they'll just reappear anyway after after you go ahead and then uh fire at plankton once. So it hardly matters if you fight against them. Okay, wow, I didn't even see that sleepy seed. But anyway.
Oh, we got the costume already. Good, good. Just how I wanted it to go. Although this is not pre, this is not like a real-time cutscene, sadly enough. So we don't get to keep it. Yay! Thank you for trying, Patrick, old pal. But it looks like we. And this is where the game gets really fucking weird. my friend. But a manifestation of your nocturnal subconsciousness. Yeah, I, I don't even know what to make of this next part of the game, which is, like, the, the final part. Like, it is so fucking out there. It's more than just an acid trip. It's, it's one hell of an LSD trip, I will say, without a doubt. So, basically, like, if you collect all the... If you collect all the, uh, sleepy seeds, all the pink sleepy seeds within the other levels, then within all the other sections, so you get to play as Patrick. Same thing for Plankton, so, so yeah, it looks like, looks like, looks like there's pink, uh, 27 pink sleepy seeds in the entire game, as well as 27 green sleepy seeds, so that's a total of 54 sleepy seeds in the entire game. Uh, yeah, now do you see why I am not bothering to, uh, collect them all? That's a, that, that's a lot of trial and error bullshit along with just exploring the levels when you're platforming around, so, yeah, not going to do that. So it looks like I'm stuck with SpongeBob's uh, ending of the game, which is fine enough, I guess. It I would say is the quote-unquote canon ending of the game, but even then, it's fucking weird and it doesn't make sense. Um, if you if you're curious as to what the endings are for Patrick Ed Plankton, uh, you can look look you can look them up on YouTube. It's not that hard. But, uh, I'm going to be finishing off this Let's Play as Spongebob. Well, by default. Even if I did collect all the, all the pink Sleepy Seeds or all the green Sleepy Seeds, like, I wouldn't play as either Patrick or Plankton to get their endings because, uh, yeah. Patrick's ending is kind of stupid and... Plankton's ending is kind of un, un, kind of like not so rewarding. So I would say that SpongeBob's ending is the most tolerable and the one that makes "quote unquote" the most sense. Anyway, let's get this going. So the last part of the game is a racing section, and it's actually kind of challenging. Hypnotic Highway. You have been experiencing dreams, hmm? Dreams that are vivid and peculiar? Yes, that's yep. exactly it! May I ask, what were you eating before you fell asleep, hmm? Krabby Patty, I guess. I love Krabby Patty! Krabby Patty's, huh? Indulged in a crime. A mere morsel, mind you, of succulent Krabby Patty. Well, then, the circumstances are quite clear. The particular chemical composition of these Krabby Patties must have affected your unconscious biorhythm and so altered your dreams. This is not uncommon with the Krabby Patty snake, especially late at night. How do you know so much about Krabby Patties, Doctor? Mm, yeah. So obvious. I have that Krabby So apparently it's a giant Krabby Patty, and, uh... Yeah, apparently it was able to talk this whole time. Delayed realization! And we got some weird vehicles here. Well, Plankton's vehicle is fine, I guess, and Patrick's makes sense, but we're riding whatever the hell this thing is an anglerfish kind of alien? But yeah, uh, Hypnotic Highway is kind of challenging because you have a bit of a strict time limit. 
And Hypnotic Highway is the... Hypnotic Highway is definitely lengthier than than the race course in in Spongebob stream, so yeah, you want to be hitting all those boost pads. And there are slight shortcuts in this uh, track, so you might want to take them should you want to uh, beat the time limit. Oh boy. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. This must be my dark side. Spooky. Yeah. Th when I when I say that this game this part of the game was fucking weird, I was not kidding. I've let you down, Mrs. Bob. Like like yeah, I said it and it is definitely fucking weird. Oh, don't be silly, dream SpongeBob. My dream However, the characters are still insistent that they're that they're in each other's dreams. Instead of instead of sharing the same dream. So yeah, that roughly took us about 40 seconds to get through that first lap. Uh yeah, the time limit is strict. Like, not too strict, but, like, it's kind of strict. As I said before. I mean, technically, it's a sub... It's a... It's a merge subconscious between you, Patrick, and Plankton. Okay, we got the sleepy seed over there. Okay. Hey, look, SpongeBob, you're in my dream. I hate to disappoint you, but it's definitely my dream. And yeah, the characters will, will keep insisting that they're in each other's dreams. So as long as you don't hit much of anything, uh... You should be fine. When I said that, like, uh, the first lap roughly took us 40 seconds, I'm... I'm saying, like, it... it that, that's, like, after calculating the, uh, the bonus checkpoint time with the things. And, yeah, we're already kind of running out of time. So we need to hurry the fuck up. Oh boy, I'm slowing down considerably. And if you do fail this, you have to retry. So, yeah. Uh, I got the sleepy seed, but I don't know if I'm going to make the. Okay, there we go. I have another letter from a Mr. E. Krabs, and he asks, Where's me fry cook? Ha ha ha, that's a very good question. A very All right. good question indeed. Come on, we can do this. We can do this! I know we have enough, enough time just barely to do this. I've let you down, Mrs. Bob. Not yet, SpongeBob. We can still pull through. No! Well, I'll see you guys when I actually do get to the finish line on the third lap. Alright, I think we got it right here. There we go. And now enjoy the ending. 
What a vivid imagination I have. Now to get you back to the Krusty Krab where you belong. We want Krabby Patties. And we have shitty looking hey, fish people. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Stand aside. Stupid, I said without relish. One Krabby Patty, no relish coming right up. Why is everybody staring at me? Have the I fuck? This shell? Meow. And what will happen is that, as it turns out, this whole thing was a dream in a dream. Dreamt by Gary. Meow. So does that technically mean does that technically mean that like throughout the whole game we were uh playing through Gary's dream? Playing as different SpongeBob characters? I don't fucking know. Like Like it, it has to be. Like the the, the Krabby Patty but yeah, it's like... I really don't know what to make of this whole thing, and... As much as any other person, but... Uh... Yeah, that's... That's the end of the game. As we know it. Um, uh, fuck you, train, in the background, but, um, normally the credits would pop up here, but, um, for some reason my emulator just does not like the, the credits in this game, so, I guess this is a good time for me to, uh, actually sit here and get my final thoughts upon the game, uh, overall, I think Creature from the Krusty Krab is a good game when it comes to, uh, when it comes to variety. You have racing, you have platforming, you have side... You, you have... You have side-scrolling, like, kind of like 2D... 2.5D platforming. And you have on-rail shooting. Like... Like, there's quite a bit of variety in this game compared to other Spongebob games. And, uh, yeah. That part, of the, that part of the game is pretty damn good, but... But, but certain bits of the level design could have obviously been better. Um, there were a few parts where I called bullshit on the game for. Particularly that one moment when I was in the Alaskan bullworm. And not only that, fuck you, train. Anyway. Um, and the sleepy seeds are obviously a pain in the ass to get, but um, besides that, I would say the Creature from the Krusty Krab is a fun game. If you're a casual player and you and you've been wanting something to play. It's also good for Spongebob fans. Which I happen to be, so... Hey, that's a plus for me. But, yeah, um... As I kept... As I have kept saying throughout this, uh, Let's Play, I have... a bit of a novel retelling of Creature from the Krusty Krab up on fanfiction.net. It's there to, like, kind of, like... fix up the problems with the with the overall plot of the game, because it... it's not that good. Even when you take it to... even when you actually understand the, the fucking weirdness that goes on in this game, it's... not... very... it's not that well executed? So therefore, um... the story is getting... it's getting a three, like, it hardly matters up until the very end. 
Which even then is kind of eh. And besides, it's fucking weird, so... Yeah. A, a 3 out of 10. As for the gameplay, I'm going to give it a... Give it, give it an... Give it an 8 out of 10 for casual gamer kind of stuff, but for but for non-casual gamers, I would say it's probably a 6 out of 10. And the game looks pretty good for 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 its time. I, I mean, it was a launch title, a launch title for the Wii. It looks pretty good on GameCube as well, so... Yeah. Uh, no complaints with the graphics, uh, 8 out of 10. And... and for... for which of the music tracks that were actually good? Uh, I would give the soundtrack an overall... 7 out of 10? When... Given with the, with the few, like, actual good and memorable tracks, like, We Gotta Get Out of This Place and I Need a Herring, those tracks in particular are really good and, and catchy. However, as far as the rest of the soundtrack is concerned, it's not anything too special or memorable. And it's kind of whatever, so that's why I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 for the music. But overall, I would say that if you're a Spongebob fan, and especially if you are a casual gamer, this could serve as a good game to play for when you want to start off, start out like being a gamer. And that's really all I have to say, so... Guys, that's going to be it for the Let's Play of Spongebob Squarepants, Creature from the Krusty Krab. I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. I kind of have, uh, to an extent. You know, there have been annoyances throughout. Besides that, I have enjoyed the Let's Play, and I'll see you guys for maybe whatever Spongebob games I happen to do in the future. Like, maybe do Legend of the Lost Spatula and Nexus, like, a semi-blind Let's Play? I don't know, I never really touched Legend of the Lost Spatula. I've seen bits of it, but not much. So... So it's, like, going to be a mostly blind playthrough if I ever do go and, and play Legend of the Lost Spatula. But until then, I'll see you guys for when I might do that. But until then, you could watch some of my other Let's Plays on my channel. And I bid you guys farewell.